my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to use Photoscape to add color to black and whites. And um, this is not going to work as well as you would hope it would. So I'm going to show you kind of a way around it to do the same thing. So I've got Photoscape open and I'm going to click on Editor. I'm going to select my, my black and white image here. All right. So I'm going to add, try to add the skin color back into, um, into my face. To do that, we're going to go to Tools, Paintbrush, and let's select a, uh, a kind of a skin tone kind of color. All right, we've selected the faded, the skin brush, and we're going to start to try to paint onto my face. And you'll notice this is not really working out very well. It's instead adding a solid color to the image, and there's no layer control or transparency or anything. So there's no real way to blend the color into the image. The good news is there is an alternative. There's a program called GIMP, which is free, just like Photoscape is, and it's got a really quick way to do this. So I'm going to open up GIMP, and I've got this same black and white photo with a saturation all the way up so it's truly black and white. I'm going to add color back into my face and into my shirt. So the first step is to create a new layer, and we're going to select transparency here, say OK. Now I'm going to select a kind of a skin tone color. Here, so let's let's come down to the kind of the brown areas. We're gonna that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good for a skin tone. And we've got our brush selected, and it's we can adjust the hardness and all of that. I'm going to begin painting over my face, and at first it looks like we're getting the same results we were from Photoscape, only just a little bit, uh, just a little bit more polished. You've got a little more feather on the brush. Actually, we're setting up to do something pretty cool because we can now control the layers. So we're just going to paint around, trying to avoid the eyes, and now we're going to make a new layer. And call same same transparency. And this one we're going to color, I don't know, kind of a green, maybe a teal. Or let's go full on purple. We're gonna make my shirt purple. Let's say okay. And now with that new layer selected, I'm going to paint onto my shirt. And again, this is starting to look a little bit cartoony, but bear with me, it's gonna look pretty good when we finish. All right, finished coloring this over. Uh, almost feels like we're making one of those spray paint art images that they show off. And the last step is kind of where the magic comes in. With the layer selected, you can alter the opacity, or underneath mode, you can click this arrow, and we're going to come down and say overlay. And we're going to do the same thing with the skin tone. And all of a sudden, the image is colored again. And it's only com colored where it's painted, and it's completely blended as though the shirt was that color and my skin tone was actually the color when the photo was taken. So this is a really great way to kind of produce some really artistic styles into your photos. You drop the saturation all the way down and then you hand paint the color back in. I hope you've enjoyed this short video. I'm Josiah Ray.